Hey everybody, Joe Casaboni here, and I wanted to record a quick video about a new tool I've been using as my sort of research buddy, and that is Milanote. Uh, so full disclosure, the fine folks at Milanote reached out to me uh, and are providing me with a free pro account, uh, and I'm I'm trying it out and I'm really loving it. So first of all, it's beautifully designed, it's web-based, and it looks fantastic, it's super flexible. It has an iOS app that is, uh, it's okay. It's good enough for jotting quick things down. And actually you could see uh, the quick notes here from the app. So I can take this and then move it to uh, wherever I want. And the way Milanote works is you set up different boards uh, and within those boards, they can have columns and to-do lists and links and things like that. So I'm gonna click into the smart home board because that's the most full one right now. Uh, again, I'm using it as a research buddy. So I am doing research on things I want to add to my smart home. So you can see I've got some columns here. They are color coordinated. And uh, I, I, again, I really like the way things are laid out. So if I zoom out, you can get a better idea of what it looks like. So I have some general information here on the left. Uh, my requirements for all smart home uh, devices. I want them all to have HomeKit and Amazon support. Uh, I want them to be easy to use manually because other people in my household might not necessarily want to do the automated or robot uh, version of the interaction. And then I have an arrow to start here. I always check consumer reports first uh, because I am now a dad in his mid thirties and I, I, apparently that's what you start to do. So. I check consumer reports first and then I move on to the wire cutter, but I also have a column for each device I want. So connected cameras, a thermostat, door lock. And this is great because I can easily drag and drop links into here. Uh, I use an application called Yoink. So if I, if I just kind of click on uh, something here, like this and I drag it to the side, you'll see Yoink show up. So usually when I'm in the browser, I will just drag the URL into Yoink and then drag it onto whatever smart home column I want. So uh, if I zoom in here and I right click, I love that Milanote has right click uh, support. I can add a new column if I want. And so uh, let's see, I've got connected cameras, a thermostat, door lock. What else do I want? Uh, maybe a doorbell. So I can create that column here and then I can move it around and it's pretty free form here in Milanote. If I click on the column, I can assign a color to it. Anything that is more than two purchases out gets a, a brown notification or a brown note. Uh, green is next. Yellow is on deck. And, uh, and then everything else gets a brown notification. So, um, or a brown demarcation maybe. Uh, then I will add a comment with my budget. So budget, I actually have no idea how much the doorbells cost uh, because I haven't done any research on them. But once I do that, I can then click to consumer reports, do a search for smart doorbells, or maybe just doorbells. And then I can look for, you know, the information here. Now, they might not have uh, that rating here, and that's fine. In that case, I would end up going back to uh, Wirecutter, which has probably reviewed that. But this is just a quick overview. So I have an, an, a new column here. If I go back, you'll see that there's uh, links, notes, lines. So, like, if I really want to draw a line and make it super explicit to say like, hey, the door lock goes hand in hand with the doorbell, I can do that. I can even have boards within boards so you can have like some deep linking stuff and uh, other information. But I really love the way that Milanote is laid out. And if I go back out to home and into content ideas, you can see you can kind of have like a Kanban sort of setup. So I have lead gen ideas that I would then want to go to email funnels. If I click on the webinars board, I have the webinars laid out and color coded. 
and with the PDFs, I have ideas. And then again, I can treat this as a Kanban board. So I can create a new column maybe here that says like in production or outlining, right? Cause I always like to outline the PDFs I put together and then I can just drag this over here. So it's a really great, flexible, versatile tool. It was mentioned several times on my podcast. Uh, so when they reached out, I was very open to trying it and I've been really happy with it so far. I only have a couple of boards. I'm going to use it a lot more though because I've been trying it out, just doing some light research. One thing I hope they get soon is an API because I love automation. So if I could like add something to Pocket and tag it as Milanote, uh, and then it shows up in whatever board I wanted to or and things like that, I'll be really happy. But for now, it's a beautiful research buddy for me. And this is the first time I've had like a single place for research. I've tried other apps like Keep It and Evernote and other ones, but I haven't been totally happy with them. This is great because I've got the links embedded and real nice. I can add comments and to-do lists and, and notes and it's just fantastic. So if you want to try Milanote, go to milanote.com. That's M-I-L-A-N-O-T-E.com. No affiliate link because they're providing me with a free account. And I love promoting things that I really like and I've been really liking this. Uh, if you have any questions about Milanote or other research buddies that I've tried, let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more great content.